How is it going, everybody? My name is just Jared, but you guys can just call me Jared. Welcome back. Today, we're talking about dreams again. So welcome to another dreams video. And this one, I'm going to express my opinion about dreams as far as the release window and why I'm concerned. So at E3 this year, Media Molecule said on multiple accounts that yes, a dreams beta is still coming this year and the release is still coming this year. The problem is we're already halfway through the year. We've had this knowledge for a year and we still don't have the beta. Now that's not a problem as far as like, oh, I want the beta, give it to me now. The problem is the, the timing because let's say the beta releases later this year and dreams doesn't come out till December or maybe they delay it to like early next year. If that's the case, I will be worried as far as the longevity of dreams because I believe next year is the year they're going to announce the next gen consoles, that being the PlayStation 5 or the Xbox, whatever they call it, I think will be announced next year. A lot of people think they will be announced next year. And if that's the case, and Dreams does release, they're going to be releasing at the end of a generation. Unless they come up with a way or they end up porting Dreams to PlayStation 5, then other than that, I think they'll be in trouble as far as um, people who will stick around. Because when every time there's a next gen console, I always jump ship every time. No matter what games I've been playing on previous, I'm always wanting to do the new thing, wanting to have the next experience. And I feel like um, a lot of people share that. I know a lot of people who share the, that mindset. So I feel like it's going to be tough if they don't port it over to PlayStation 5, the next PlayStation system, whatever it may be, I feel like they almost will have to do that to keep, um, I, I don't want to say the community, because the community will stay no matter what, because Media Molecule's community, you know, from Little Big Planet 1 to 2, um, they've been there the entire time, but as far as bringing in new players throughout the lifetime of Dreams, I think it being on a last gen console will hurt that if you understand what I'm saying. So I don't know, I kind of feel weird about why it's, I, I don't want to say why it's taking this long because I know there's a lot of things that go on behind the scenes that I have no idea about. Um, but they did say in the last stream that we saw that this is the most final build of the game that they've had, that was months ago. Um, so I think it's weird that they didn't announce a beta release at E3 um, because that would that would have been the perfect moment because there's so many people there so many people watching it I feel like a beta release date would have gotten everybody into dreams would have you know um, Had people more curious as to what dreams is if they're gonna be able to play a beta Still there's people out there who don't know that there even will be a beta um, And I think that's common knowledge that people should know and it's just strange that you know, if, the, if they had a release date for the beta, they would have announced it at E3. I'm sure of it. Because it's not like um, Media Molecule is a hated studio. They were on E3 stages. They had a live concert, which you guys saw here on the channel. If you didn't see it, check out my last video. They had a live concert. They had uh, tons of demos and interviews with, with people about Dreams. And, you know, they didn't shy away from showing their game at all. So if they knew that there was going to be beta or they knew when the beta date was going to be they would have released it so it just kind of worries me that um it's taking this long for the sake of the lifespan of dreams um unless they once again put it on the next playstation console as well which then we wouldn't have an issue but then it gets into the whole will the current psvr work on the next playstation system because then it gets into all the vr stuff and i'm assuming when the next um playstation comes out they might have a new uh, vr headset model that's better and then it just gets into a whole other whole other thing as far as that we don't know enough about the next playstation console but i do believe next year is when we're gonna get details about the next playstation console and i don't want to see the game dreams left behind with the playstation 4 
So, I don't know, those are my current concerns. I just wanted to express them to you guys. I'm definitely, obviously, still excited for Dreams. It hasn't, like, affected anything. I just wanted to share this, see what you guys thought. So let me know about it down in the comments, what you guys think about this topic. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up for me. Subscribe for more Dreams news, gameplay, and coverage. My name has been Just Jared. Until next time, have a good one. Peace out.